is going so long. almost there. Graduates, please be seated. Good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, and staff, and thank you to the members of the Board of Trustees and the Alumni Association who are with us here today. It is with great pride that I welcome you all to the Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts Class of 2022 Baccalaureate Ceremony. My name is Isaiah Moore. And, beyond, or, and, beyond, and on behalf of the graduating class, I would like to thank you all for being here. We are here this afternoon to celebrate the class of 2022's achievement and academic accomplishments. The baccalaureate ceremony is a time for thoughtful reflection as we begin to celebrate the end of a very important journey. In the past, graduates would plant sprigs of ivy at the base of Murdoch Hall, the oldest building on campus, to symbolize their continuous love for the college. We can't do that anymore, though, because it ruins the building. In addition, each class would present a poem that represents their academic experience. Even though we no longer plant the ivy, the tradition of the ivy poem is still carried on today. Before presenting our class poem, we are going to participate in a variation of the ivy planting tradition. My classmates and I have our very own sprigs of ivy that we will give to those that have made a difference in our college careers. And as a note to my peers, the gift of ivy is not limited to faculty. If there is someone in this crowd who has inspired or impacted your academic journey to this point, please feel free to include them on the list. It's your way of saying thank you. Whew. I still can't believe we're graduating tomorrow. Who knew the time between opening our acceptance letters and receiving our degrees would go this quickly? I'm sure there's some pretty great stories between all of us. Think about how the campus has changed in our times. When I was touring here in the fall, there was a swimming pool. When I got here in the fall, there was a skate park. And then it became a fitness center that I did not get to use for two years. Thanks, COVID. Speaking of COVID, we all, well, most of us, learned how to unmute and mute our microphones on our computers. But that's just a few. I'm sure all of you have plenty of great experiences from your time here. Now, however this is a time of reflection, I can't help but be excited for what the future lies ahead for us. The anticipation of everything beyond tomorrow is the start of a new adventure. Following commencement, we can achieve whatever we set out to accomplish and become whoever we want to be. We have been consistently growing into interests. And how does that compare to now? Wow, how young and naive we were. But now, let's live in the moment. Look around you, take everything in. Look, look around you, take everything in. Look, there we go, there we go, there we go. This is a moment that we can capture together as a class of 2022. A great way to capture this moment is to take a selfie. Come on, everyone. Let's take a selfie. Everyone look at the camera. Say graduation is tomorrow. Perfect. 
I appreciate that, Brett. All right, now all you guys, feel free to take your own selfies, but make sure that when you post them, you tag at MCLA underscore alumni and use the hashtags MCLA2022 and hashtag MCLA alumni. No, no pictures, no selfies. Maybe I'm out of date, okay. Um, it's too bad, I was hoping to get a little internet clout from this. Um, but getting started, we're gonna go ahead and welcome to the stage MCLA's 12th president, Dr. James Burge. Hold on, I wanna tell you a little bit about him first. Dr. Burge has worked in higher education for more than 30 years, having spent much of his early career in student affairs, ultimately working to lead other academic institutions before joining us here at MCLA. He's a Berkshire native from Lee and a graduate of the Massachusetts State College System. Dr. Burge has brought his passion for community-based learning and innovation to our campus, evidenced by the new cutting edge programs in health science and public health and community health education. That's one major. I think it's the longest major I've ever heard. Um, as well as electrical engineering, art design, and entrepreneurship. Dr. Burge has also paved the path for diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives streamlined through MCLA's five-year strategic plan. We are thankful to President Burge for his commitment to students both in and outside of the classroom. You'll see him at the athletic games, performances, gallery exhibits, club events, and participating in our community days of service. Even though he has a lot on his plate, he makes sure to be our number one fan. Please welcome President Burge. Well, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? No selfies, that even surprised me. Well, welcome uh, members of the class of 2022. I'm very happy to be with you today for the baccalaureate ceremony. The baccalaureate ceremony provides an opportunity for you, our graduates, to say thank you to everyone who's provided support and guidance during your time at MCLA. And I appreciate Isaiah's comments about making sure that you think about everybody who's helped you, family members, friends, faculty, staff. Uh, those things are really important to everybody because nobody earns a degree alone. Every one of you, every one of us, has had help along the way. Before I begin, I'd like to offer some thanks of my own. Our trustees work tirelessly on a volunteer basis on behalf of the college and our students. They're deeply invested in your success and they're proud to support your accomplishments. So I wanna thank our trustees and we have two here today, the chairman of the board, Mohan Boudram, and Dr. Rob Riley. I, I would also like to recognize and thank the members of the MCLA faculty and staff. They've invested in your success and given their time and exp expertise to prepare you for opportunities and challenges that are to come. They have been your advocates, your mentors, your role models, and they are indeed your biggest fans. MCLA is fortunate to have such a dedicated and talented team who make up this special community, and so I wanna thank my colleagues. As the father of three daughters, I understand personally the important role that families and loved ones play in the lives of our graduates. My thanks would not be complete without acknowledging your families and friends. They have given of themselves by encouraging, supporting, guiding, and advising you. This is a special time for all of you as well. So let's give them a hand. And of course, to the members of the class of 2022, I want to thank you for the many positive influences you have had on this community during your time here. It has been a privilege getting to know many of you. I've been impressed by this, the abilities and talents you've displayed in your academic and extra, extracurricular activities. I've been especially touched by your commitment to service and to this community. You've participated in days of service throughout your years here, and you've identified needs and created programs to fill those needs that exist on campus and in the city of North Adams. 
Even during the most difficult years when your physical presence was constrained, you found ways to continue giving of yourselves. One of the best parts of be about being a college president is having the opportunity to see students develop their skills, their talents, and their confidence. Your growth has been evident to me over the last four years through the impressive work you've produced for MCLA's Undergraduate Research Conference and through your in inductions into honor societies, completion of honors programs, and designations as MCLA scholars. During your time at MCLA, I've seen you shine in the performances of FPA main stage production, as well as through Harlequin, Yorick shows, Dance Company, Nexus, the Jazz Band and Choir, and in your reporting for campus media outlets. I've seen your confidence and strength through your leadership and service. You've served fellow students and others through SGA, Lead Academy, the Center for Service, our community days of service, as, many, as well as the many student-run clubs and organizations. I've seen your determination through your ability to balance your academic responsibilities with your jobs, caring for family members and raising children. You have overcome your own set of challenges and made your education a priority, not an easy accomplishment in the last two years. Finally, I've seen you embody the spirit of teamwork on various playing surfaces as student athletes, competitive and motivated as one team to achieve your best both as part of a team and also in the classroom. As MCLA graduates, you will be well prepared and equipped to make the most of the opportunities that come your way and to succeed at whatever you choose. You've not only survived a global pandemic, but you've persevered through it. Though your time as an undergraduate soon will come to a close, remember you are now part of MCLA's 18,000 member alumni family, and we're proud to have you. I hope that you will return often to this place where you've made so many memories and built so many connections. Congratulations on the achievement of your college degree. Thank you, President Burge. We truly appreciate the hard work that you've put in for us. Now, we're gonna start our Ivy poems. Our first Ivy poem, that will be read this ceremony is from the class of 1915 and it'll be read by Onassis Soto. Come on, Onassis. Hello, everyone. The time has come for parting from the school so dear to all, but our memory will eve linger around its grand old classic hall. We've had joys and we have sorrows, but the bitterest comes today, since the happy years we've spent here are past and fled away. That we may not be forgotten, a wee plant we leave behind, of our loyalty to normal, other classes to remind. With the tender care a mother puts her little one to rest, so we plant thee, little ivy, by the schools of schools, the best. Upward now and ever upward, little ones so green and small, shall go higher, ever higher, to reach the topmost wall. And by your upward climbing to future years confess that the class of 2022 is still climbing to success. To him who watches over us and keeps us in his care, we commit thee, little IV, and alma mater fair. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brianna Christie, and I will be reading the Ivy poem from 1947. We look today not only to the past to fathom the depth and breadth of what we are, but forward gaze to what is yet to come, to what seems now so near and yet so far. And may this future glimpse of moment be to guide us as we march on fearlessly. But before we turn away from this our home to walk along the paths where cares abound, a living witness here we leave behind. This ivy plant we place upon the ground as symbol of both our past and future years our heartaches, joys of all our hopes and fears. In rich and fertile soil, we plant your roots beside the shelter of these classic halls. We hope for you a fruitful, boundless life, living through tender springs and fearless falls. Be yours to climb and strive on up above to inspire in all a lasting faith and love. Then we'll return and seeing you on high, we'll find in you the record of our life. We'll see ourselves reflected in your soul with all we've ever known of peace and strife. 
Whatever in time you may find your life to be, leave a bit of it to inspire in eternity. Hey, y'all. Hey. So, my name is Eliza Gonzalez, and I am a graduating senior from the Psychology and Health Science Department. Today, I will be presenting the Class of 2022 Faculty Appreciation Award to someone who has been a great advisor and mentor. This award is given to a faculty member who encourages students to succeed in the world of higher education. These past few years, this recipient has impacted my experience at MCLA by guiding me and many others. I noticed that this effort began when she and other members in the MCLA community started the Women of Color Initiative in 2018. These efforts led to an inclusive space for minority students, faculty, and staff to connect on our small campus. I have witnessed firsthand this recipient's commitment to student success as she's taught many life skills outside of academics. We've, we've had mature conversations that focus on advocacy in a professional setting, resilience, and accountability. This, re this recipient has opened many windows of opportunity for me throughout these four years by networking with sources outside of campus, helping me gain confidence in community outreach. She's taught many, she has taught students a variety of skills that are needed to prosper in education and in their future careers. It is my honor to present this award to Dr. Porter, who continues to inspire and show her dedication to her students. Thank you and congratulations, Dr. Porter. Please join me on the stage to accept your certificate. I don't think I'm supposed to speak, but I just felt like I need to say thank you. I really appreciate you guys so much. Usually I don't cry, so this is a big deal. Uh, and I know y'all have reached far. I really, I know it. And y'all, I keep saying that y'all like, remind me of my kids, and I love y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you, Eliza, and congratulations, Dr. Porter, for receiving the Faculty Appreciation Award. Now, a little break from the poems. We're going to have our class of 2022 president, Kennedy Sobin, come up and present President Burge with our class gift. Hello, everyone. I have the pleasure of presenting the class gift of 2022. Each year, the graduating class makes a donation to the college, and after discussing with my class council members, we decided we wanted to add to the enjoyment of our campus. The class of 2022 gift is a walk-through wheelchair accessible table to be placed next to the library under the overhang next to the MCLA mural. We hope that this table will allow us as alumni for future and current students to enjoy sitting outside. We would like to present you, President Burge, with this certificate and invite all of you, our classmates, to come back as alumni and see the impact that our class gift will have on the MCLA community. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kennedy, for presenting the class gift, but also thank you for helping us leave a lasting legacy on the MCLA community. And now I'm gonna go ahead and have professors Anthony Daly and Samantha Petty come up to present this year's Student Excellence Awards.
Uh, on behalf of the MCLA Association of Faculty and Librarians, we are happy to present Ms. Samantha Sam Harrington with a 2022 Outstanding Student Award. Sam is a bright, motivated, and driven student. She's a double major in history and secondary education with a minor in political science and has excelled in each program by maintaining a near-perfect GPA. She is academically strong, involved in campus activities and the community, making her a strong candidate for an award that recognizes student excellence through a multifaceted lens of academic excellence, service, and engagement at the college. Sam is unquestionably one of the strongest students our department has had the pleasure of teaching, and her academic excellence has been recognized by our department and across campus in the form of awards and scholarships. The wide range of academic recognition she has received through her years at MCLA strongly shows her proficiency in the liberal arts mission. To further recognize Sam's academic prowess, she has also presented numerous research projects at MCLA's undergraduate research conference and other undergraduate research conferences in the region. She is currently student teaching at Drury High School, and we are confident she is making a positive difference in the local community. Outside the classroom, Sam is engaged with the wider MCLA community. We all recognize that service to the college is vital. It keeps our institution functioning and provides us with collaborative means to improve, but it also connects us to each other. Student service in particular is a great undertaking, and Sam exceeds expectations in this area as well. She is active and involved in many aspects of MCLA academic and campus life. Sam served as the MCLA Writing Associate and the Writing Studio Student Manager, a teaching assistant, on the eBoard of Political Science Club as treasurer for three terms from fall 2019 to spring 2022, and on the search committee for a new Vice President of Academic Affairs. Despite involvement with all these activities being time consuming, that does not stop Sam from being a very active member in the broader community. Faculty in our department note her attendance at numerous events on campus, from supporting and cheering on our athletic teams to attending lecture series, backyard cookouts, and everything in between. In sum, Ms. Sam Harrington has perfected the balance of staying engaged in campus life while also excelling academically and has made our campus community stronger as a result. Sam, please come to the stage and let's all give Sam a round of applause. Thank you, Professor Daly and Professor Petty, and congratulations, Sam. As someone who's taken multiple classes with you, it is well-deserved. Now, I am honored to introduce Jake Boylet from the class of 2018 to the stage to give a few remarks on behalf of the Alumni Association. Get up here, Jake. Good afternoon. It's an honor to be here today representing the MCLA Alumni Association. As I stand here before you, I'm proud to welcome each and every one of you uh, to the alumni community as you cross the threshold from student to graduate tomorrow. You have overcome so much the past few years and have finally made it to the day you thought would never come so soon. Here you are, less than 24 hours away from a milestone you should be extremely proud of. As I remember sitting in your seat just four years ago, I recall the feelings of excitement, sadness, worry, and so much unknown that is to come. But the future holds no promises, but rather mysteries and surprises. And what you've learned here will prepare you for both. I know that MCLA has given you the foundation to face the world boldly and with confidence to make the most of your time and live your life to the fullest. When you look back on your college years, I hope it is with fondness, even with the challenges you face. So what will you do once your time as a student ends and your time as an alumnus begins? Will you make sure that you leave a legacy behind by ensuring that those who come after you have the chance to experience the things that you have besides the pandemic? Are you going to use your time to give back as others have done for you? Or will you use your time in a way that allows you to put your liberal arts education to good use? Did you know that according to science, we are 99.9% .9 the same? 
That leaves just 0.01% of difference, uniqueness, and makes us who we are. On behalf of myself and the board of directors, I encourage each one of you to use that 0.01% to make your mark on the world and to continue to make the college, your friends, your family, your faculty and staff, and everyone else that helped you get here to where you are today proud. But most importantly, don't forget to make yourself proud along the way. My advice to you as you walk across that stage tomorrow and start your journey post-graduation is to never stop learning who you are, to be who you are, and to use that to your advantage moving forward. I hope MCLA will always be a place that you never forget and can always call home. I hope you stay connected and become engaged and active alumni. Congratulations to you as well as your family, friends, and all those that have supported you on a job well done. And I sincerely welcome you as the newest members of the MCLA Alumni Association. To continue the ceremony, I'd like to leave you with the Ivy poem from my graduating class, the class of 2018. We are all ivy flowing in the dark, appearing so free and flawless, seeming to show adaptability, trying to act as though we're not repressed. No one sees the blemishes on our leaves, the broken vine that was cut off too soon, the isolated leaf that sprouts alone, the isolated times when we can't find our way back home. Nevertheless, we continue to grow. We continue to move against the wind. We persist through the thick of the bad storm, and we be ourselves because we just won't conform. And maybe along the way, we find it. We find the hope and the encouragement because of people who helped build our foundation and to set us on the right path toward graduation. Although our leaves are stained from the hot sun, they still hold so much promise and potential. And since all of our leaves are still flowing, that suggests that we are still growing. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you and your accomplishments. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. And I know I speak for all of my peers when I say we always hope to continue growing. I can't believe that in less than 24 hours, we're going to be graduates and proud members of the Alumni Association. But before we jump ahead to the celebration, Odiase Williamson is going to read the Ivy poem from the class of 2011. Hello, everybody. This poem called Keeping an Eye Out. When I was seven, the woods at Grandpa's were the size of Maine, a labyrinth of graveled paths. Mom said, keep an eye out for poison ivy. So I scanned the edges of the forest path for the three-leaved fiends. To tell the truth, I couldn't tell the difference between an ivy and a fern, so I tightrope down the center of the path, avoiding every plant shorter than myself. I learned a valuable lesson about the typology of paths that day. Some paths have been worn and weathered by our ancestors. Others are fresh and our kin are running down them, hands waving free and shouting. And we find ourselves forging new paths too, beckoning others to follow. But every path is bordered by the poisonous unknown, and life is a succession of junctures at which we decide which path is safest to pursue. Keep an eye out for poison ivy, because noxious uncertainties bud along every roadside like storm bushes. Every step in life is a flirt with calamity. It is only by the guiding light of our mind that we find our way through the world. When we scatter down from our homes in each other, like thousands of leaves blown in the wind, it is by the grace of our own will that we push off the shore like sailboats and ride the waters until they glisten. Thank you. Hello, my name is Haley Rode, and I'll be reading the Ivy poem from the class of 2012. We came from different soils, some rocky, others pristine, only to be transplanted onto this lawn. As our roots tested out this new ground, we did not know whether we would grow or what the years would hold. Now we are vines, interconnected, our stories covering these walls, helping each other to climb to new heights. Soon we will spread to unknown grounds, again testing the soil with the knowledge of what has been and the uncertainty of what will be. 
From here we spring forth off these walls, saying farewell to the soil that allowed for our growth, looking for new walls to make beautiful, knowing that the sun will always provide light for those spreading beauty in dark places. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. That poem hits home with the fact that we all came from varying places and grew together. And after tomorrow, we will say farewell and share our growth over the last four years with others in new soil. Now we're gonna go ahead and welcome back our class president of 2022, Kennedy Selvin, to lead us in the Ivy gifting part of the ceremony. Good afternoon, classmates. There's a common theme to these Ivy poems. Despite moving on to the next chapter of our lives, our stories remain connected because we are all graduating together. This ceremony is a chance for us to pause and take everything in before commencement. The end of the semester has been wild due to final papers, presentations, tests, and the daunting task of job hunting or figuring out next steps. We've worked so incredibly hard to get here and now that we're here, we all deserve to take a deep breath. I know there's someone here today that you would like to share your success with. I would like to invite you to participate in the Ivy gifting ceremony. While we no longer plant Ivy at the base of Murdoch Hall, we still use it as a symbol to represent our bond to this community. Please take a few minutes to go out into the crowd and give Ivy leaves to those who have impacted your life during your time here at MCLA.
If everyone could please find their seat. Hurry up. Graduates, you may be seated. Now that the class of 2022 has participated in the Ivy gifting ceremony, we have now joined past classes and officially became a part of MCLA's history. Deanna Morrow will now read the last Ivy poem from the class of 2015. Hello, everybody. We did it. Those three words are so simple, yet they encompass so much. As we stand tall and ready to face the world, we discover MCLA left a mark on our hearts, and we left a mark on this campus. Just as the leaves in autumn are each unique, we find that together, they create something magnificent, just like us, the class of 2022. Through laughter and tears, we embrace the ever-changing landscape of our future, letting the mountains guide us down paths untaken. During late nights and early mornings, we stood strong, finding support systems in each other. It hasn't always been easy. There were days where we all wanted to give up, scared of the melody of possibilities ahead, but we found something in us that made us persevere, passion. Through passion, we became the face of MTLA. Through impactful speeches, powerful presentations, defining awards, and moving performances. Through passion, we became the spirit of MTLA. Through invigorating sports, friendships and relationships, commitment to service and academics. Through passion, we became the heart of MTLA as individual, talented, independent students just trying to find their way, all the while finding each other. And here we are, we did it. Those three words are so simple and yet they encompass so much. Thank you. Thank you, Deanna, for picking a poem that helps remind us that we did it. And even though many of you were like me, and at, at some points, I didn't think I, I would do it, but I did it. Um, now that we're done with all of the previous year's poems, it's time that we present the MCLA community with our 2022 Ivy poem, Paula Kingsbury Evans will now read the poem that she created for the class. Get up here, Paula. I'm struggling to find the words, the right way to say thank you for giving me the space to grow up and the time for letting me figure out who I want to become. So here is my attempt. My mother is this building, my bones, standing tall and strong, the support system always there to remind me of who I can become. My father is the rain, my blood, watering my roots to keep me alive, always there to encourage me to keep growing. My sibling is the sunshine, my heart, giving me life, always there to make me smile. And I am the ivy, clinging to this building, finding the courage to grow on my own. I'm choking on the words, thank you. Because you've given me so much, I feel as though th these words will never be enough. So here is my hand, my little piece of ivy, 
to keep with you forever. I have to say, that was the best poem of the ones we read today. No offense to the Alumni Association and all the alumni in the audience, but we just raised the bar. <laughs> As we conclude today's, or the class of 2022's Bachelorette Ceremony, I want to thank you all for joining us here today again. The love and support from our family and friends has given us the strength to get to this point. In addition, on behalf of the class of 2022, I'd like to thank President Burge, the Board of Trustees, the Alumni Association, the faculty, and the staff for their continuous efforts to provide the very best public liberal arts education. And thank you to US News and World Reports for proving it. We will never forget the investment that you made for us. As we prepare for commencement tomorrow, I ask that you remember just one thing. I'm not asking a lot, it's just one thing. That over time, our relationships do not end. They evolve. Please do everything in your power to make that a positive evolution. When we walk across that stage tomorrow, we will officially be MCLA graduates and we will begin a new chapter of our lives after 375 Church Street. Please stay in touch and stay connected to campus. Good luck, class of 2022. Now, on behalf of the class of 2022, we would like to invite you to join the class of 2022 out on the academic quad for a reception. Please exit through the back of the gym following the graduates. Thank you all again one more time for coming and sharing this moment with us. Will my fellow classmates please rise?
You'll have a good eye shot across the way. <laughs> 